And Jordan Reed released his first mock draft for next season, and he sees the Cardinals selecting both the first and second overall players, taking Caleb Williams and Marvin Harrison Jr. He sees Drake May be the Buccaneers' choice at number three with Olu Fashanu out of Penn State, and Florida State's Jared Verse rounding out the top five. And who better to hear from on this mock than Jordan Reed himself? And let's welcome him in, and let's specifically focus in on those quarterbacks at the Cardinals may get a chance to look at very closely, Jordan. Start us off with the obvious pick at number one, Caleb Williams out of USC. Yeah, there's two words to describe Caleb Williams, and it's smooth and special. Those are the two words that I use to describe him. He's everything that you want at the quarterback position. 42 touchdowns to only five interceptions a season to go. Ended up winning the Heisman Trophy. He has pocket awareness. He's a wizard inside and outside of the pocket. But what makes him special and what his superpower is is his ability to make everything right when the offensive coordinator even calls the wrong play. That's what makes Caleb Williams so special. He has the arm strength that you look for. He has the command and the poise that you love to see. And he's also an underrated athlete too. 10 rushing touchdowns last year, so he can be a plus one in the run game as well with quarterback design runs. The next quarterback that has scouts buzzing right now is North Carolina quarterback Drake May. 38 touchdowns to seven interceptions last year. Very strong arm. Outstanding downfield throw with 63 passes last year of 20 plus air yards, which, put, which ranked him in the top 10 in the country last year. Scouts want to see him get a little bit better with his, with his progression patience in the pocket. Feels as if he exits the pocket a little bit too prematurely. So let's see if he makes that adjustment now with new offensive coordinator Chip Lindsey in place. And then the last quarterback that I want to talk about is Texas quarterback Quinn Ewers. And he's a fascinating study this year just because he's a player that a lot of people are really intrigued by, but you watch him against Alabama in the first half before he suffered the injury, he looked like a number one overall pick candidate. But you go and t turn on the tape of him against Oklahoma State, he looks like an undraftable player. So he has to find that common ground of consistency, consistency but under the tutelage of Steve Sarkeesian, uh, of a coach that has undergone players like Tua Tungabailoa as well as Mac Jones, He's the next one in line. So let's see if he can put it all together this year and prove that he. Oh, man, timing is everything in life. And Jordan was about to wrap up anyways. We thank him for his expertise on those quarterbacks. We'll have plenty more from Jordan over the next eight or so months leading up to the draft. Ten or so months. I can't even count. Mina, what are your thoughts on this upcoming quarterback class? It is exciting. It, it really is. I, I think with Caleb Williams and Drake May, it. You all, I won't be surprised if they're actually really close by the end of this process. But with Williams, I guess the best thing I can say is normally when I hear people comping anyone to Patrick Mahomes, I immediately walk away or throw something at the TV. But it's the correct <laughs> comp for him. Yeah. The off-platform throwing ability, the creativity, the twitchiness inside the pocket, the escapability outside a pocket, the magic. It, it is Mahomesian. He is not... As obviously, he's got a very long way to get there, and there's consistency questions and all of that, but he is a very, very special prospect, and we are going to talk about him a lot. Okay, I owe the viewers, because I just screwed up on how many months away the NFL draft is. I said eight first, then ten. Here's some specifics for you. 42 weeks from today in Detroit, the 2024 <laughs> NFL draft will kick off. We'll find out who's taking Caleb Ooh. Williams number one overall. Thank you for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.